Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial. And on this one, we need to talk about the voice stack modulator. And this one, it's uh, pretty simple. So let me just show you. I have a very dull uh, arpeggio right here. That's the sound. It sounds very dull. And that's the whole point. So we're going to make this sound much better. Okay. So I'm going to go and stop it. And the volume is very low because it's going to go and increase in volume. So I'm going to go right there and bring the voice stack. So, uh, as you know, when you, whenever you, uh, you use a synth, you can have many voices and you can actually stack voices just like we do in unison. For example, if I play this and I go in unison and I bring more voices, we're going to just increase the volume and we get more voices, right? Very simple. Now, then, of course, we can detune the voices so we can make the synth sound a little bit more kind of a wider, just bigger. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole point of the voice tag. I'm going to go back to what we had before. And I'm going to go and play the sound again. As soon as we do so, and we go right here, it says enable voice stacking in the device. So we need to enable voice stacking in order to, uh, to use this. So whenever you click this, you go to the synth, notice that it says voice stacking, and by default, it's always off. And that's how it works. So if I go right here, I can do three, I can do four, I can do up to five voice stackings. And if I play this, notice it sounds different. It's much louder, much louder. And it's because now we are stacking many voices and we get more voices, we get more volume because we are just doing a little bit more. So the whole point of this, of this, is just doing that kind of a unison stacking voices uh, spread. So for example, this one is going to be the global control for pretty much this, this modulator. So if I do play, notice that all the voices, they sound pretty kind of, kind of a hard synced. They sound, sound in the same place. They're not just kind of a, you know, they're not really wide. So if I go to this modulator and I go to the pitch, each, uh, you know, the, each stack of the five ones are going to be spread. So I'm going to go and change the pitch. And notice that it's spreading. And it's because this voice stacking now, uh, of course, is listening to this modulator and it's spreading the voices, the stacking, the stacks. And that's all it is. That's all it is. Now we are using five stacks and we are just detuning them. And of course, the modulator is controlling this. Now, uh, one more thing is that when you go to the modes, you have kind of a, a different modes. And let me just do it on an absurd way so we can really hear the difference. I'm going to go back to the global one and I'm going to do a lot of pitch. And this is going to sound super weird, right? Maybe, maybe it's a bit too much. Maybe there. So notice zero to one, is, it means that it's going to go from the starting point to one. So we get this detuning effect, of course. And from minus to one, it's going to use the polarity. It's going to kind of uh, be uh, negative and positive. So it's going to be much more. Notice that the, the, the detuning is just a bit more aggressive. And that's all it is. We are going from a tiny bit of whatever we are doing. We go more because it's negative and positive right now, not just, not just positive. Then we have a value, which is kind of an exponential. The first one, it's on the same spot. Then the other ones are just going to be kind of a increase. And notice that it's showing right here how much it's doing. Okay, so now notice again, uh, the pitch of the different voices is changing with this one. Because this one starts on the same pitch, and the other one is going to be higher and higher and higher and higher. So. Notice some of the voices are very high in pitch, and some other of the voices are just kind of a uh, kind of a in tune. And then finally, you have the manual mode. Notice that I'm back to the beginning. I'm not doing anything. But now, since we can manually say how much we want to do from the one, two, three, four, or five stack, so maybe the one is going to stay in the same spot, but the second one is going to go and do doing it like that. The other one is going to be positive. This one is going to be negative just a little bit. And the fifth is going to be positive all the way. So that's how we can manually control how much we want to do for each stack. Right. So, of course, it sounds crazy. It's very useful. But if you use it in a crazy fashion like this, it's just going to sound crazy. Now, of course, I'm going to go back and just going to go and do the voice stack. So right now, we are not doing anything. I'm going to go right here. 
And I'm gonna do a little bit of the boy stacking now. And I'm gonna do just a little bit. Notice that we get that spread. Now I'm gonna go... And I'm gonna say uh, that I want to go all the way to the left. So but with this ones, what we can do, we can do the same thing. I can say, okay, so you know what? Some of the other voices are gonna be in the right, and some of the other ones are gonna be in the left. So this one is center, this one is left, this one is right, left, and then right. So we get a nice left and right kind of a panning. And we can really hear the difference. If I go to this one and I deactivate it, of course I need to go back to center. Right. So pretty cool. Okay. So okay, I'm gonna go over right here and just go back to the beginning. Now, by using the global one, the global voice tag that we get right here, we are doing all at once. But what you can do, you can go one by one and just do one, uh, you know, use the stack number one to do something. I'm gonna go and just use the detune, the stack number one, and all the other ones are just gonna remain in place. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go crazy. Okay, so now notice that when we do manually or we uh, assign it like this, there's no real change. Notice that the change is pretty much non-existent. And it's because whenever we change these modes, they kind of work in a global fashion. If I go to the number two and I make it all the way to the left, you know, it's changing, but it's not too much. It's not too aggressive. But when we use it on a global fashion, it's just a little bit different. If I go over there and do the same trick, Notice that the values right here are just changing. And we can really hear the difference. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Uh, I'm gonna go and just, you know, delete it and bring the boy stack again because you can use this for, you know, many different things. Right now we are just using to uh, do a little bit of spreading and a little bit of, uh, you know, doing uh, a little bit of the pitch, but you can go and do whatever you want. I'm gonna go and do a little bit of the pitch but I'm gonna go and say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go and do the sync. And I'm gonna go and do the sync for this one as well. I'm gonna do a little bit of filter and a little bit of resonance. Why not a little bit of sub? I can even go right here and make it, you know, more voices. It's just gonna sound big. And I'm gonna go and do the unison and do the unison. And it sounds super big if I deactivate this. It's dull. Super dull. Now, of course, with the manual mode, and, you know, if we go to different values, it's just gonna sound different. Oh my god. Then manual, and on the manual, of course, you get much more control. It's just great. Just a great device. Another cool thing that you can do, you can maybe go and do a classic LFO or just whatever other modulation you can think of and just move them. Since you can do the manual, mo manual mode, you can go right here and just move this and get a little bit of movement. Maybe a little bit of you know, less reverb. And there you go. That's the voice stack. Now you get this with the uh, synths of Bitwig. You cannot really uh, kind of uh, do it on a different synth, like a VST plugin. Let's say, I don't know, uh, the Mini V from Arturia. Well, you don't get this mode because that plugin will just kind of handle the voices uh, internally with that plugin. But with all the synth, uh, synths from uh, Bitwig, you can just use this and it's just gonna give you a little bit of magic, just a little bit of magic. And just to give you a different example, I'm gonna go and turn off this one. I'm gonna go right here and get the organ one. And the organ is a synth that, it's kind of a synth that we get. And it's a pretty dull sounding synth. So on this one, we could do the same thing. We can go right here and bring the voice stack and just make it a little bit better. So I'm gonna go there and say, all right, dude, I want to go right here, enable, of course, the uh, voice stacking. It's gonna sound louder, of course. And now I'm gonna go right here and do a little bit of the pitch. Maybe not that much. And it really makes a difference, right? If I disable this, I'm gonna go to this one and disable. 
It's just different, man. It's just different. Alright. So that's it. That's the voice tag. Now, another thing. Let me show you another thing. I'm gonna go and play this one. But I'm gonna delete all of this. And notice that, the, of course, the sound is still dull, even though we are doing unison. Whenever you click on the on the on each device on the polysynth, you get a voice stack spread by default. And this one notice that it's uh, negative and positive. It's like you know that the mode from minus to plus one we get on the module later. And on this one we can kind of uh, do pretty much the same thing and detune it. But we don't have a lot of control. This is just gonna go and do it. You can even detune a little bit from the left and right and do the same trick right here. But we don't have a lot of control, right? But you get uh, kind of an instant access to both stacking right here to detune and just spread this uh, a little bit more. All right, so that's it. That's the voice stack. So hopefully you learned something. And uh, remember to like and subscribe and check Patreon, of course, and see you on the next one.